Woo, woo, woo. What's going on, everybody? This is Black Aaron. I know it's been a minute, but I'm coming at you with a pretty interesting video. So, playing Black Ops 3, obviously. Um, people are like, why don't you play for the Warf anymore? Because it's trash. I, I, I gave, what, what month are we in? March? I gave that game back, like, January, maybe? Possibly? I don't know. It, it just wasn't a good game. So, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 3 and Overwatch. So, whatever you see me post nowadays is going to be one of those two games. Probably something different if I'm feeling a little uh, frisky. But anyway, so I want to talk to you guys about a cool concept that I thought of a while ago and I had a really deep conversation with a friend of mine a while ago. And it's called, um, it's the concept of a mind key, right? Now, I'm going to have a really big question to ask you guys, but before that, I want to you know, drop some bases. Um, you know, kind of a give a set the scene kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so what is a mind key? Now, a mind key, in my interpretation of it, what it is is something that unlocks your subconscious. Now, it's not just like, uh, I'll put this, it unlocks your hopes, dreams, likes, dislikes, desires, every un true unadulterated feeling or thought you've ever had, no holds barred, everything. It unlocks it. Now, it's kind of a scary thought because there's things that we even hide from ourselves that it's kind of hard to even think about you know there's certain things that we like that we would rather not like or there's certain things that we've done that we rather not think about but or rather not show or rather not talk about or stuff, anything like that but this key unlocks it now this brings up a question right who has this key well this key the way i, the way I thought about it was it was kind of it would be it would be kind of like your virginity, but it would be even more serious. Like, for example, some people, sex is casual. Like, uh, the, <laughs> me growing up, I, 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 I am nowhere near grown up yet. I am not grown yet. I know there's certain things in my life, certain steps I have to take to make me grown. I ain't there yet. Fine. Here's the thing, though. One thing I have learned so far is sex is very, very casual. So, it's it's not casual. This is a big deal because here's the, here's the thing. A mind key can't be stolen. A mind key can't be taken. A mind key can't be accidentally given away. It has to be purposeful and it has to be given to somebody, right? Once you give your mind key to one person, it's gone. You know, there's only one mind key for your entire life. You only get one in your entire life. Once you give it up, it's gone. So here's the deal. Who do you give your mind key to? So once again, now this person, now let's look at the implications of somebody owning a mind key. Owning your mind key, right? What happens What happens is, is as soon as you give it up to somebody, they have the access to go into your brain, into your mind at all time, at any time of the day. Your dreams, hopes, likes, wants, things you are upset about, things you want to do, things you never have a chance to do, just misery, all the things in your mind, they have a chance to just unlock it at any time during the day. That's scary, but that because that's power. <laughs> that's really scary. So my question to you is, who would you give this power to? Now, this is this is this is insane. This is insane. What I'm what I'm saying to you, this is weird because no one ever has this level of intimacy with ourselves, other than ourselves. And even then, we aren't always that true with ourselves to begin with. So, you know, I, I went down the list. Of, I made a list of things that, um, gosh, I made a list of things of people that I'd possibly give it to like a spouse, best friend, or would you never give it to anyone? You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. So if, say. You had a you say you had a girlfriend, right? You dating this girl or boyfriend, you know, for for the ladies out there. Uh, say you had a boyfriend or girlfriend uh, for like two years, right? And after your first year of dating, you already had sex, you already were chilling, you already were good, you already were whatever. But they asked for your mind key, and you love this person, you love them to death. You couldn't imagine life without them anymore. There's fights, there's annoying stuff, but but regardless of all the problems, you still want to stay there and be there with this person. And they ask for your mind key. This is not a wife. This is not a husband. This is not a, you know, life partner. <laughs> this is this is a girlfriend or boyfriend. Would you give them this mind key? Now this brings up so many problems because if you say no, I don't want you to have my mind key. That's too intimate. They're sitting there like, oh, okay. I thought we were. I thought we were good. You know what I'm saying? Or would you give it to a best friend? You know what I'm saying? I mean, if, you're, if we're going back to the whole spouse and girlfriend boyfriend thing, that might ruin a relationship. So I ruin a relationship. So you're sitting there, okay, you want to ruin that relationship. So what if you say, oh, I gave it to my best friend, right? So you gave your mind key to your best friend. Now, this also causes some problems because what if you guys aren't friends anymore? You know, that's there's always a possibility of you guys not being friends anymore. There's always a possibility of you guys not really enjoying each other's company anymore or anything along those lines. Um, I mean, there's friends that I had, best friends in my life. Like, I never thought I would ever part with them ever in my life. And I don't talk to anymore. 
mostly off of my own mistakes, but you know, I mean, what what happens happens. I don't I don't like it. I don't enjoy it, and I don't. I kind of wish it wasn't the way it was, but I made my mistakes. But what if they have my mind key? You know what I'm saying? This is something that's so sacred that it's kind of hard to even. I guess to have a view of the future. I don't know. I mean, well, well, actually, I shouldn't say I don't know because somebody got mad at me about my last video. Uh, well, how would what would you do if your life started over? How I didn't give my own opinion in that video. I, I kind of laid out a question, a very deep and heavy question, and I never answered it. So I'm going to answer this question within this video. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's hard. I, I I I'll be honest with you. This would be my version of put a ring on it. <laughs> this, is, this is if you, if you this would be my version of put a ring on it. I. I wouldn't want to do this with a spouse. I mean, with a spouse, with a girlfriend. I would not. I would not give my girlfriend a mind key. Or my friends have a mind key. Like I, you, you, besties, life or you know, ride or die. You would not have my mind key. Period. Because this isn't just. This isn't just. Oh, you know a few secrets. No, you know the things that even I don't know about my own self. You know what I'm saying? You have the ability to see into my dreams. You have the ability to see the the things that make me tick. The reasons I do things. The reason I'm alive. You know what I'm saying? Hopes, dreams, everything. I'm saying that that's something that's too powerful to give to somebody that's once again, I have best friends and I've had best friends before who I've completely lost to the wind because of things that I've done. Who I, <laughs> like I, I hate to be mean, I hate to be rude, but I mean who I, I do miss, but the thing's gone. They're gone. I can't have it anymore. So why would I not waste a mind key, but why would I sit there and be like, okay, no, my best friend's gonna have my mind key. So we get each other on a new level because this this is because when somebody has your mind key, it's unspoken, man. It's completely unspoken. So everything you do is unspoken to this person. They get you on a level that you don't even understand yourself. So I guess I, I if I had to give it to somebody, I'm not gonna cop out and be like, oh, I'm not gonna give it to anybody. That's just stupid. No, heck no, that's a cop out. I, I would definitely get. I would give it to a spouse, wife. But here's the problem, though. We all know how females are because if you don't give it to her soon enough, she's gonna get upset. <laughs> if you don't get to her soon enough, like, oh, we've been dating for four years. When am I gonna get your mind key, girl? I'm, I'm, I'm working two jobs. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to provide for you. You sitting there trying to, you know, going to beauty school, not bringing in no money. What you look, what I look like? To... <laughs> I'll say something stupid, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, it would have to be something that I knew deep down in my soul was going to work because. What do I look like giving my mind key to an ex? <laughs> you know what, I'm what would I look like? You know, I'm not, not you know, no offense to people who have divorced parents out there, divorced whatever, but I wouldn't want to get divorced from a person who I gave my mind key to. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I this, I don't know, and I feel like people nowadays wouldn't be able to, ha wouldn't be able to handle this. Like, I, I don't see a way people can handle this kind of pressure because i think once you realize who a person really is not just them being honest with you but them literally not having to tell you anything about themselves you just they just you just know the inner machinations of their mind thanks spongebob and once that goes would you would the person even love you anymore would the person even want to be around you anymore would the person even care to be and these are all things that you really got to think about when you Handling your mind key. I don't know, guys. Anyway, that's the video. That's something I just was thinking about for the last couple of days. Uh, thank you for watching, by the way. Appreciate you guys who are still watching my videos. Uh, if you guys have any... Let me know who you guys give, would give your mind key to in the comments. Best friend, spouse, girlfriend, person you're dating now. That's a, that's a very good question, actually. Very good question. The person who you're dating right now, the person who you like right now, would you give them your mind key? Would you ask them for their mind key? Oh, bro, I'd be causing way too many conflicts. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not asking that question. Would the person that you're dating right now, the person you're interested in right now, would you give them your mind key? Or would you demand the their mind key from you, or from them? Just things to think about. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have a good one. This is Black Aries, and I'm out. Peace.